Transfers are intricate designs that can be used to add markings to your miniatures and in this video we'll be showing you how to apply them. Before we start we'll need to get a few things together. You'll need your miniature, the transfers, some art coat and Lamia medium. You'll also need a paintbrush, some tissue paper and some clean water. You'll also need something to cut out your transfer. You could use scissors or a hobby knife. If you're using a knife like we are, make sure you've got a cutting mat or something to protect the surface you're working on. If you're one of our younger viewers, please use scissors or ask an adult for some help. So the first thing we need to do is prepare the area that we want to apply the transfer to. We're going to start off by applying Art Coat to the area. This is a gloss varnish and it will help our transfer have something to stick to. Before you use a paint, make sure you give it a good shake. This ensures that it's fully mixed and it's a consistent colour throughout. Art coat can be a little bit thick, so it's a good idea to add a touch of water to it to thin it down. This will make sure it's not too streaky when we apply it to our miniature. You'll notice that this makes the area look glossy, so we'd recommend painting the whole panel to ensure we don't create any lines where the varnish ends. Don't worry, we'll be painting over this later to give it a matte finish again. While the varnish is drying, we can cut out our transfer. Carefully cut this out with your hobby knife. And again, if you're a younger viewer, please make sure you ask an adult to do this for you or use scissors. Once we've got it cut out, carefully pick it up and place it onto a paper towel. To separate the transfer from its backing, we just need to let it soak in some water. So we'll add some water to it now and give it around a minute to fully soak in. A quick poke with our brush here shows us that the transfer is ready to move. Now this part can be a little bit fiddly, so just take your time. If you think the transfer is drying out, don't panic, just add some more water to it. While ever it's wet, we can move it around on the miniature. So all we need to do is carefully slide the transfer onto our brush and then place it onto the miniature. We'll then need to move it around a bit to get it into the correct position. And again, if you think it's drying out a bit, just add some more water to help you do this. Once you're happy with where it's placed, just leave it to dry. You might want to carefully soak up any excess water using a damp paper towel. This can help to speed up the drying process. Now our transfer is in position, we need to seal it in place. So to do this, we'll apply another layer of art coat. Remember to thin it down a little bit first. Then once that's dry, we'll apply Lamia Medium over the area. Doing this helps to get rid of that gloss finish and mat the area back down. And with that done, our transfers are complete and our miniature is looking awesome. Now, sometimes we need to apply transfers to curved surfaces. Space Marine shoulder pads are really common examples of this. So this can be a little bit trickier. However, we can easily get around it. We prepare the area just like before using the art coat. The only difference with applying a transfer to a curved surface is that we need to add an extra little cut into our transfer. This will help it soften around that curved surface. Here we're applying an ultramarine transfer to that curved shoulder pad, so we'll add the cut just down the centre like this. Then we apply it just like before. You might need to spend a little while positioning it and pushing it down with a damp paper towel. Once you're happy, apply the art coat, followed by the Lamia Medium to complete the process. Don't forget that you can add a couple of coats of Lamia Medium if you're finding the area is still a little bit shiny. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to apply transfers to give your miniatures that extra finishing touch. If you want more help getting started with painting Warhammer, you can check out our Citadel Colour Painting Essentials videos. Well, we hope to see you soon and we hope you enjoy painting your Warhammer. Bye!